If you want to know the difference between transparency and non-transparency, this next video clip will show you what full transparency looks like. As the mayor of uh, that wonderful city uh, that certainly has a lot of answers that it needs to provide to the public, Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett, he joins us now. Mayor, thank you so much for your time. Well, you're welcome. Thank you very much for yours. Absolutely. I know that you've had a conversation with President Obama. He contacted you as well as the mayor of Charlotte. What can you tell me about the conversation with the president? Well, it was terrific. It's a very uh, big honor for him to call, uh, but uh, especially to compliment uh, our approach to transparency and to openness uh, and uh, providing a scenario to where because of the relationships that we've been able to develop uh, over the past seven years of my main mayor, it's really uh, had a very positive effect uh, upon uh, a very, very difficult and a terrible situation that obviously the, the uh, world has, has seen the video. Uh, but uh, we've been able to, because of our friendships that we've developed, uh, establish a situation where violence is not an option. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I know that you, uh, at least I read a quote where you've spoken with your police chief prior to this shooting and, and, and wondered amongst yourselves how you would handle a police-involved shooting if it were to happen and that day came to your town. Yep. Several years ago, uh, when we would see uh, events happen throughout the country that uh, had, a, had a bad uh, a uh, bad result with riots and things like that. We, Chief, the Chief, uh, Chief Jordan and I, Chuck Jordan, and I would talk about it, and we decided early on several years ago that transparency, that whatever the problem was, that transparency and honesty and being straightforward with the public was the number one issue. That's, that's is exactly what we did. Uh, we let the video out, we let the audio recording out, everything we had. Uh, at that time, we made it uh, made it available to the public, uh, to the family, uh, and and to the community, uh, and so that started us in a in a very good good path. The relationship that we have uh, is something that we've been working on for seven years. A lot of hard work went into it, not only with myself, uh, but with the uh, police chief. Uh, we developed a rapport with the uh, religious community by going to different uh, different church every Sunday. Uh, over the past seven years, that developed not only a relationship, but something different. It's not a political relationship, it's a friendship. Well, and and that's of, totally different. I know that you met with uh, Mr. Crutcher's sister, Dr. Tiffany Crutcher. She was here yes. in our studio. Uh, you've invited other religious leaders, including Reverend Al Sharpton, to come and make sure that the, this healing process continues. And I know that you even knew um, Terrence Crutcher's father, who mm -hmm. uh, is a jazz musician that you play together. So there is an emotional tie, at least it seems, uh, in some way to this family as well as the community. With that said, all of the goodwill that you've expressed, the transparency, Transparency that you have expressed um, could uh, could be wasted if people perceive this investigation as moving slowly. You've seen the video now. You've heard the now infamous words from the uh, one of the officers saying this is a bad guy. You right. also saw the video. The window is up. It was not down on that vehicle. When will we receive more answers as to whether or not? what the family wants, which is charges here, if charges will be filed. Well, the process is moving ahead. Uh, the, uh, I talked to the district attorney uh, uh, a couple times in the past few days. He was still uh, waiting for certain reports to be given to him. Uh, I, I know uh, our district attorney, uh, but we also have the U.S. Attorney's Office uh, is also involved with it, Danny Williams. Uh, both of those individuals are fine, fine people. They understand the need uh, for uh, a, a quick response, but they also they understand the need as well as I and the community that it has to be thorough. It has to be a good, finished product that uh, does not miss anything, that evaluates all the information, and they will come, uh, come to us with a reasoned decision. I believe that it will be done uh, late this week, uh, hopefully even sooner than that. Uh, but anyway, when it comes, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be done. All right, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. I All right, now that's what transparency looks like. And uh, if the uh, mayor of Charlotte uh, has a uh, TV or a cable connection, uh, she needs to look at this interview and uh, make a decision to take a different uh, tack than what's currently being used in Charlotte.